I featured another one of these uh, battery level indicators recently, but this one is different. Let's get down close to it. So this one is based on a little 8-pin microcontroller in the back. And the interesting thing is that you can choose from 1 to 8 cells, and it just uh, uses a potential divider to basically preset the voltage divider for the, uh, the number of cells. And at the moment I've got it set for 12 volts. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just show you operating. So I'll turn it down because it's set for the higher voltage. It's actually a bit brighter and it's also uh, going to go down in a more controlled manner. So that's fundamental. Uh, basically, the battery outline in red and then four bars uh, in green. Lighting at specific thresholds. Okay, right, I can cut straight to the chase here because I've already taken the pictures and reverse engineered it. So here is the uh, circuit board zoomed up and I shall just focus down onto this. So we've got the incoming supply and it goes via a polarity protection diode, a standard diode, to a 3 volt voltage regulator. The 3 volt voltage regulator basically then powers the LED outline and also has a common resistor for the bar LEDs and it powers a microcontroller with a little decoupling capacitor local to it. You have these bridgeable solder pads and uh, they supplied it with just a single cell bridged but also have a convenient splash of solder over the cell 2 which was bridging them which would skew the results. I removed that before I tested it. And that connects to an array of fairly precision resistors uh, noting that they've used the ones with the 01C and 47C designation that you have to look up. Uh, to rem it's not as easy as just looking at, say, for instance, uh, this one, 561, and going 56 and 10560 ohms, which is what that one is. But it forms a potential divider with this resistor, this 10K resistor down here, 01C, and that feeds the input pin of the microcontroller, which then switches the four uh, bars. Let me show you the schematic. Here is the schematic. I'll zoom a little bit closer at the risk of just completely over-zooming. So there's the incoming supply. The regulator, which I... That looks a bit scrawled because I initially just wrote in 5 volt out of habit. It's a 3 volt voltage regulator. It's called a 6513. Now, it's worth mentioning that the regulator has other numbers on it. TB501G. That drew a blank, but 6513 did find a regulator with the same pin, HP 6513. It's notable it's rated up to 40 volts. This is useful because if you set it to the highest setting here, the potential voltage is going to be 8 cells times 4.2 volts equals uh, 33.6, which is quite high. I mean, it's within the rating of many regulators, and it's uh, good that the current consumption of this circuitry is quite low. It's about 4.7 milliamps. Um, let's work that out. Four point, so imagine it was, hold on, uh, imagine it was the 8 cells times 4.2 volts equals the 33.6 minus the 0.6-ish of the diode uh, and minus the 3 volt um, being dropped on the regulator. 30 volts to dissipate uh, times the 4.7 milliamps, 0 0.0047 milliamps equals a dissipation of 0.14 watts. That's all right for this little regulator. So it's not going to get baked with the eight cells. Just felt the need to do the maths right there. Turn the power supply off. Sometimes it whistles at an ultrasonic frequency that some of you can hear, but I can't uh, when it's up near that sort of range. So there's the 3 volt regulator, there's a little decoupling capacitor that's actually over next to the microcontroller. There's the resistor that's in series with 6 LEDs to light the outline of the sort of battery outline. Noting that resistor and the LEDs are in the opposite position, but I just drew it that way. It doesn't matter, as long as the resistor's in line anywhere, it limits the current through them. And then one common resistor for the 4 LEDs that have their negatives connected to the microcontroller. Then we've got these, uh, this resistor chain. So say, for instance, you had a three-cell pack, as it had it configured there. You'd link across here, and that means that the incoming supply 
we'd go via a 49.9k resistor and form potential divider with the 10k resistor, which would then go to the microcontroller and it is just programmed internally with the thresholds that it will switch the LEDs. There is a slight delay suggesting that it's kind of applying a bit of uh, software filtering in that. But it's missed one trick, and I think this would have been really handy. Um, what they could have done, it, it, as the voltage increased, it was one, two, three, four, until all the LEDs are lit. What it could have done, if the voltage kept increasing and it went above the programmed uh, sort of voltage thresholds by a significant degree, it could start flashing the display to actually tell you the battery was potentially being overcharged. That could have been a useful feature. So the fact this has these uh, cell thresholds optimized for lithium means that unlike the other one I featured recently with the op amps, you can't just change resistors and fine tune it to a different battery technology. That has to be done in the microcontroller. But for reference, the voltage thresholds that operate to that, uh, the single step with a single cell was above 3.4 volts. The second step three, above 3.55. The next step above 3.7 and the full uh, charge the four bars was above 3.9 and that equates roughly to what I was getting the three cell which is three times that roughly 10 volts 10.7 11.3 and 12 volts it's quite a useful thing though that's uh, very handy it's just basically a two wire connection to whatever pack you have and it can be used to give a rough indication of the uh, the current charge status because lithium cells are fantastic for the fact that you know it's a fairly precise voltage for a specific state of charge but that is it. Very clever. Very neat little unit. Um, quite a smart layout as well. Very easy to reverse engineer, thanks to the fact it was all done by the microcontroller. But that's it. The more Is it more sophisticated? The, the more versatile um, battery level indicator for lithium cells of up to eight cells.